What's going on YouTube? Chase here in Aftershock Videos and welcome today to my Code Talker slash Cybers uh, deck profile. Uh, this one seems to be pretty cool. It got all kinds of good stuff in here. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the card by card so you kind of see what we're working with. Uh, let's go. Let's start with the uh, interruptions and traps and tricks and all that other stuff. We got one Nibiru. We have a draw on Lockbird, three Ash, uh, Harpy's Feather Duster to remove back row, triple tactics, um, forbidden, one Forbidden Droplet, two Infinite Impermanences, one Evenly Matched, uh, two Ice Dragon's Prison, and two Solemn Judgments. That's more for the tricky stuff. Now for the normal stuff, we have three Parallel Exceed, of course, if you Link Summon, and this card is in your hand, you can Special Summon it, and Special Summon one from your deck, which is really good. We have three Lady Debugs, which helps you search for another level 3 or lower Cybers monster. We have one Balancer Lord. This one says once per turn, you can pay 1,000 life points during your main phase. You can normal summon one Cybers monster in addition to your normal summon. And then if the card is banished, you can uh, special summon one level 4 or lower monster from your hand. So that one's pretty good. We have one Code Radiator. This one lets you... Uh, special summon a Cybers monster by using it in your hand for a Code Talker as material. So that one's pretty good. Then it says, if this card is sent from the hand or field to the graveyard as material for the Link Summon of a Code Talker, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, change its attack to zero, and also negate its effects. So it's pretty good. If this card on the field was used as material, you could target two monsters instead. So, I mean, it just depends on how you want to use it. We have one Widget Kid. This one lets you get gets you another additional special summon upon its uh, normal summon in defense position, so that's pretty good. One Flame Buffalo. This one, when it leaves the field, you can discard another Cybers monster, and if you do, draw two cards. So this one plays really well with Dotscaper. We have one Code Generator, which is kind of like the Code Radiator for a Link for a Link Code Talker monster. Uh, you can use the use it in your hand as material, or if it's used as uh, from the from the field, uh, you can add. The card to your hand that you were gonna send to your graveyard with 1200 or less attack and then add it to your hand instead so that's also really good one backup secretary if you control a cyber monster you get a free special summon so that's pretty good uh c archiver this one says if a monster is normal or special summon to a zone a link monster points to you can special summon this card from your graveyard or hand but banish it when it leaves the field so th this is again another free special summon so you gotta and you gotta love it uh, two Defcon Birds. This one lets you discard a Cybers monster to special summon it from your hand. So this one again plays good with Dotscaper, so you get more material on the board. We have three well, again, three Ash Blossoms. We have one Cybers Converter. It says if all monsters you control are Cybers monster, minimum of one, you can special summon this card from your hand. And then when this card is, or if this card is normal summon, you can target one face up monster you control. It becomes a Cybers monster to the end phase, which is pretty much fine because most of the stuff we're playing is Cybers anyways. We have one Cache Eve level two or L2, whichever one you want to call it. Um, if this card is in your hand, you can target one level 3 or higher monster you control, reduce its level by exactly 2, and if you do, special summon this card. We also have one Link Infra Flyer. This one, uh, you can special summon this card to a, a zone a Link monster points to, so that's pretty good. Micro Coder, we got three of those. Uh, this one is the same as Code Radiator and Code Generator, where you can uh, special summon, a, or Link summon, I should say, uh, code talker monster by using it from your hand as material or if it's from the field uh, You could add a level one or one level four cybers monster instead of sending it to the graveyard Or it says you could either add one Cynet spell trap from your deck to your hand or if this card is used is, is on the field used as a material you can add one uh, level four or one level four cybers monster instead so most of the time with this one you're going to want to grab a uh, sign at codec because once you start getting code talkers on the field this lets you add more monsters to hand depending on its attributes so that is really good and of course we got the dot scaper uh along with the dot scaper we got the foolish burial if you need to get into the graveyard faster again one drone lockbird for interruptions harpy's feather duster triple tactics uh forbidden droplet coat sign at codex monster reborn two infinite impermanences evenly matched two Ice Dragon's Prison and two Solemn Strikes. Now for the extra deck, we do have Splash Mage, which lets you special summon a Cybers monster from your graveyard. We have two code two regular Code Talkers, uh, two Code Talker Inverted. This one, if it's Link Summon, you can special summon a Cybers monster from your hand to a zone this card points to, which is really good. Update Jammer lets you, uh, when it's used as Link material, it can let a Link the Link monster. That you summoned attack twice so that is really good two transcode talkers this one lets you get a link three or lower cybers monster in your graveyard and special summon it to a zone it points to so keep that in mind one shooting co shooting code talker i just kind of threw this in there just because you can uh 
search uh, Code Radiator or see Archiver off of uh, Signet Codex when you special when you link summon this one. So that one is pretty good. We have one Black Lesser Soldier of Chaos because we can link summon pretty easily with this. One Access Code Talker, the main guy of this deck. Uh, one Firewall Dragon, also the main guy in this deck. Let me be clear about that. And then we got a Mech Knight Crusadia Astrum, who is completely OP. And if you so happen to get into the Godly Hand, uh, if you get to two Parallel Exceed and a bunch of other materials on the board, you can go into Light Dragon Adagnister before you go into the Transcode Talker, because then it, 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 I believe it locks you into uh, co either Code Talkers or Link Monsters. Uh, says you could you cannot special summon monsters the turn you activate this one except for Cyrus monsters. So I guess it maybe it does, but for some reason I think this one will lock you out. Or uh, Transcode Talker will lock you out from summoning him. So do this. If you do him before Transcode Talker, you'll be sitting pretty good because uh, when a Cyrus monster attacks, um, you, he gets activated and then uh, you can special summon a Cyber or Cybers monster from your a link Cybers monster from your graveyard. So, I mean that's just really good. It's during the battle phase, so that can play well with the OTK. Uh, we also have one Zeus to overlay if we need to. Um, side deck, we got a bunch of extra stuff. We got Solemn Strike. We got two more Signet Codexes. One Signet Backdoor would let you uh, banish a Cybers monster you control, then add a Cybers monster to your hand. Three Dark Ruler no more. Another Triple Tactics. Triple Lightning Storm. One Drone Lockbird, one Retaliating C, and two more Nibirus. So this is the deck profile I came up with. Let's go ahead and see if I can get a hand tester. And this is a pretty much really good right off the bat. So from here, you'd want to uh, activate Defcon Bird, pitch the Dotscaper. You can get Defcon Bird on the field. Then you can activate Dotscaper in the graveyard, special summon it. Now from here, we can go into Splash Mage by using both of them as material which will trigger Parallel Exceed. Special Summon him, and he gets his effect to Special Summon from the deck. We'll get another one. Now we can go use Splash Mage and get Dotscaper or Defcon Bird back, whichever one you want. Uh, let's just set the Solemn Strike here just because. Okay, now we can go into our first Code Talker. We'll use Code Radiator and Splash Mage. Get him on there. Now we can go into our light adagnister okay from here we have a level two and a, a link two and a level one so we can go into transcode now we can activate transcode talker and get a ah, code talker out from there we can go into uh, pretty much Firewall, Mech Knight, depending on if you're going first or second. Um, for Just for example, we'll use Access Code Talker. We'll get them. We'll trigger Access Code Talker, targeting Transcode Talker. And now he's at 5300. Now we'll go into the battle phase, attack with uh, Access Code Talker first. That'll trigger the Light Dragon Adagnister. And then we'll target our next biggest monster is Transcode Talker, so we'll get him out. Uh, then we can continue on with our battle phase attack with Light Dragon Adagnister and then Transcode Talker. And we still have an interruption on the field. And obviously with Transcode Talker before you get into the battle phase, we have one, two, we have two pops on the field. So, I mean, I just wanted to show you guys this how it's supposed to play first or, you know, things you can do. The Light, Light Dragon Adagnister plays a lot into this deck, which I would have never guessed, but it is really good. So let's go ahead and get into the EDO Pro Duels and let's see if we can get a win. All right, guys, here we are in our first EDO Pro Duels officially with the Code Talker slash Cyber Stack. So let's see if we can get the dub here. We'll go first. Um, not the best. Not sure what we're going to be able to do here. So we'll set an Ice Dragon's Prison and a evenly match. So I think that's really all we can do right this second. <laughs> this fool is opening up with Red Eyes Fusion. Wow, okay. Not what I thought it was going to happen, but... So he's a dragon. Alright, so we'll activate Ice Dragon's Prison. Grab a dragon. 
Summon it. Banish. That's what we had for our first turn, so we're not going to complain too much about that. And let's wait on the evenly matched. Okay, so we have some plays now. So we can normal summon Balancer Lord. Pay the thousand. We can normal summon Code Talker. Or Micro Micro Coder, sorry. Uh, let's Let's get a Splash Mage. Activate Parallel Exceed. Activate Parallel Exceed on the field. Get another one. Activate Synet Codec. Now we can activate Splash Mage. Get a Micro Coder. Then we'll go into Light Agnister. Now we could go into Transcode. We'll trigger Synet Codec and we'll activate Micro Coder. We'll grab a Lady Debug. And then to add to our hand, we will get a Dotscaper. We have some a lot of, so you have some good follow-up plays. We'll activate access code talker, grab splash mage. Now we can go into access code. Activate sign at codec. It's not once per turn. Activate transcode talker, target transcode. Or access activate access code, target transcode. Add microcoder to our hand. Now, well, he gave up. <laughs> he obviously did not have an out to that. So there you go, guys. That's pretty much how that goes. And we didn't even have the best opening hand. Luckily, we opened up with a couple traps that will, you know, protect us at least for a turn. Access code was going to let us pop. And then we had some follow-up plays with the Light Dragon Agnister to get Transco Talker back on the field. So... Let me know what you guys think of this down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think or what you'd add or do differently to this. But this was a really cool deck, and this was suggested, so I figured I'd get to it eventually. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It means a ton to me. Don't forget to check out Aftershock Videos merch. We got all kinds of cool stuff. I have some other things, too, that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, we got made, a, made my own mat. So, if, I mean, if you guys are interested in that, I might be able to make more of those. And I got sleeves as well. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel. And don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram. So thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.